Hello and welcome to day eight of our Advent Reflections from the East Telford Benefice. Today's theme is Waiting and Searching. Our reading is taken from Matthew 18 verses 12 to 14. What do you think? If a shepherd has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountain and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine that never went astray. So, it is not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. Our reflection today. Advent is a time of waiting expectantly. Waiting expectantly for the God who came to us in the incarnation of Jesus, the Word made flesh, and a time of looking out for the God who will come again in glory. As a child, Advent was more often a time of waiting impatiently for the excitement of Christmas, of presents and parties and holidays from school. Then, as now, waiting and watching is never easy, and it can be difficult not to be distracted by other things, of taking our eye off the ball, of going astray. But who do we think we are? Are we one of the 99 in the flock left on the mountain? Or are we the one who has gone astray? The one whom the shepherd has gone out to search for? The one who is lost? Does it really matter which one we think we are? Perhaps it does. But ultimately, this parable is saying so much more about the nature and character of God than it is saying of us. This parable reminds us that the God we are waiting for, the one who will come to find us when we stray and to carry us home, is a God who is committed to us and who loves us and values us beyond anything we can imagine. We are an Advent people because the God who is revealed to us in Jesus is a God of promise. And that promise is the eternal promise of the shepherd's love. Let us pray together. Lord, we thank you that when we are distracted and have strayed from your promise, you come searching for us to bring us home we rejoice in your faithfulness. Amen.